ही एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल एंड टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट प्ले राइट इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन दिस इज गोइंग टू बी द पार्ट टू इफ यू हैव एंड वॉच द पार्ट वन आई विल पिंक द लिंक इन द कमेंट बॉक्स जस्ट गो एंड वॉच दैट वन इट विल बी वेरी हेल्पफुल एंड बेनिफिशियल फॉर योर अपकमिंग प्ले राइट इंटरव्यूज ओके सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी टाइम लेट्स मूव फॉरवर्ड एंड डिस्कस वॉट आर द इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट इन यूर प्ले राइट इंटरव्यू इफ यू आर अ क्यू ए एंड प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर यूर इंटरव्यू you so guys stay ready because you know playwright is an emerging tool and in most of the interviews people are asking to you know have some knowledge at least regarding playwright so before moving forward i would like to make a request with you guys to kindly subscribe my channel so that you never missed an update and also hit a like button share with your friends and comment also so let's move forward the very first question is what is playwright and how it differs from selenium so this is the very basic question in this you can answer it like that playwright is a modern end to end testing framework developed by microsoft it supports multiple browsers like chromium firefox webkit and other platforms okay cross platforms you can say unlike selenium okay but if we uh, say how like playwright is more good and how it is you know really different from playwright so in uh, so from selenium so you can mention this point playwright provides built-in support for multiple languages like javascript python c sharp and it emphasizes on faster execution easy handling of multiple tabs frames and browser contexts okay like this you can mention apart from this you can also mention like it is having inbuilt screenshot capabilities while selenium don't have okay guys so uh, moving forward to the next question we have how do you set up playwright for test project okay so uh, this is the very basic command that you can remember initialize the project with npm for that we use the command npm init y hyphen y and then we will use npm install at the rate playwright slash test okay this will you know these commands you have to use create a test file example dot spec dot js with a simple test like this it will look okay um i will give you some explanation about this uh, the example installs playwright testing library and sets up a test that navigates to a url and check the page title so this is the thing like you can tell to your interviewer okay moving further next question how do you handle multiple browser contexts in the playwright okay so for this you can answer it like that uh, as we all know playwright allows the you know creation of separate browsers contexts which isolates cookies stories and sessions so uh, here is how you can create multiple contexts so for that what we have to use we have to use dot new context method and it will help you to you know uh, get a new browser context so this is the code that you can see basically in most of the interviews people ask you to write at least lines line of code so uh, you can you know uh, see these lines like const browser equals to await chromium dot launch it will help you to launch the chromium browser basically then context 1 context 2 we will make a new context and if you want to uh, uh, go for a new page then you have to you know initialize like that context uh, page 1 equals to await context 1 uh, dot new page uh, then context 2 dot new page and then you have to hit the url okay so like this you have to uh, mention to your interviewer so each context operates like a separate browser basically okay uh, it helps you to know isolate the cookies this is the best part of uh, playwright basically and it enables you the parallel test without shared session data okay uh, moving further how would you interact with an element in playwright okay so basically playwright provide methods like dot click dot fill and dot wait for selectors like these methods playwright used to interact with the elements so like this you can mention to the interviewer i will show you the you know example of this question also uh, can you see this lines await dot page dot go to it will help you to launch the url then dot fill helps you to fill the username or anything which you want to fill uh, then dot click method help you to click okay this is the thing um uh, here is the explanation uh, like fill helps in the input text while click stimulates a button click and wait for selector ensures that the elements are loaded before interacting with them uh, by the way we are having you know inbuilt wait mechanism in playwright also so uh, even if we don't use this thing it will work fine for you 
Next question. How do you handle API requests in Playwright? Before moving to the answer, I would, you know, request you to kindly subscribe to my channel, share with your friends and do like the video because many of you people watch the views like video. I get the views, but not the likes. So this is not good. Okay. So let's see the no, next question. Basically, Play Playwright provides a built-in API request feature to intercept and modify requests or handle network interactions. So this is the code you can uh, see in that. We have provided it uh, dot fulfill and then we have provided a status code, content type, body, JSON, extra, extra, extra. Okay, like this you can do. This will, uh, you know what it will do? It will mock a request by intercepting calls to the specified URL and returning custom J JSON data. So like this, you can uh, answer this one. Moving further, how would you manage screenshots and video recordings in Playwright? So basically, uh, you know, um, screenshots and video helps us to debug the things. Okay, it will capture the, you know, um, screenshot of that window and will give you. So it will be very uh, beneficial to get the exact where the test case is failing. Okay. Uh, basically steps can be taken in any, at, at any steps okay and video recording can be enabled from the beginning to the end like this we can do okay uh, by configuring the browser context so like this we can do you can see this code like chromium.launch video on okay like this it will help you to get the video and uh, for screenshot we have await.page.screenshot this is the method inbuilt method so like this you can get the screenshot as well as a video recording okay Moving further, how would you test a pop-up or new tab in Playwright? So basically, uh, Playwright can handle multiple pages by, uh, by listening for the pop-up events. So this thing you can do, like wait for event method that you can use and inside that you can pass pop-up. Okay, like this you can uh, answer to the interviewer. Moving further, look this is the explanation you can read from it uh, same thing whichever i have shown you the main thing that you have to remember is to remember the function wait for event that's it next question how do you emulate mobile devices in playwright yeah basically you can also mention this thing playwright helps the emulation okay so you can do mobile testing as well not exactly the mobile testing but the you know screen size of mobile you can take uh, android safari etc and it will help you to get an idea okay Playwright allows emulation of mobile devices by setting up the viewport, user agent and touch support. So this thing you can uh, answer to the uh, interview. So uh, like uh, here also it is mentioned iPhone 11 by setting up mobile specific context. Uh, this context we can set as I told you like Safari, iPhone 11, 13, 15 like this you can give and it will help you uh, to you know uh, emulate uh, like to uh, behave your uh, you know whatever the browser is going to launch it will behave like a mobile screen okay. So this is the thing uh, like which you can use in uh, Playwright basically. Moving further, we have the other question. How do you manage authentication in Playwright? Okay. To reuse authentication across test, Playwright can save and load session storage and cookies. Okay. Basically, we can store and save the storage like cookies. Okay. Uh, I will show you this code basically. Uh, you can see this thing await context dot storage state this is the main line which is uh, going to do the like it will help you to save the authentication state in auth dot json basically okay and then it will load for the other test allowing test to run without logging in every time so in api testing it will be very helpful you will get just one time authentication and it will be saved and you can use it for many 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 times without logging in again and again okay so this is the thing that you can remember storage state okay <clears throat> moving further the next question how do you verify navigation in playwright so basically navigation this is the very 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 easy and most asked question so for that you can uh, you know answer the two methods that you can remember wait for navigation or checking the page dot url method these two methods are very very common method and this question is mostly asked in the interviews okay if i talk about the api context the playwright api context like uh, question from api you can uh, you know expect less question but from the ui part playwright you will expect good question and more question okay so these two methods you can remember <laughs> moving further to the next question how do you handle dynamic elements in playwright so basically 
uh, to handle the dynamic elements we can use wait for selector method it will help the you know uh, element uh, to load asynchronously okay and uh, what this method do wait for selector method basically uh, you know wait until the element is available in the dom and making it suitable for handling dynamic content uh, wait for selector uh, you can see this line we have provided the css there so uh, you can provide the uh, selector there uh, so it will wait till the uh, locator or selector that you have given isn't appeared in the dom so these are the questions uh, which i have covered in this video and i will cover the further questions in the another upcoming video and if you want that video kindly comment the next uh, kindly comment next in the comment box so that i will upload the next video and i will cover around 100 question in this series so yeah guys just don't forget to subscribe my channel share it with your friends and if you like it just hit a like button for me thank you so much bye bye